Welcome to Tech Nick channel, I'm Sally and today me and Nick are going to show you update on our blinking LED laptop. First pick a toothpick and try and see if charging port pin is loose. The power jack pin should remain stable and not exhibit heavy movement. We will show you a comparison with our old video where the pin was loose, and we had to resolder the power jack. Saw how the pin wobbled in the lower video this was causing problems with laptop power and battery charging. Not only that, but it also caused the power jacks on all our adapters to melt due to the improper connection. Our initial power supply plug jack heated up so much that it almost melted the connector. Even our second connector that we replaced melted a bit during gaming or heavy use of the laptop. We also purchased a second HP adapter which didn't melt because it had a lower amps rating but it still became quite hot. Eventually, after numerous failed attempts, we realized that even if we soldered the laptop charging port, it was inherently faulty, and we made the decision to completely replace it. We also recalled that we had an additional adapter connector that came with our 50 watt Boozy audio amplifier, which you might have seen in our audio test video. In this video, we will show you how to replace this connector, but first we'll check its compatibility with the charging port. This fits perfectly, so there shouldn't be any issues. However, it's important to note that this Chinese jack typically has lower quality compared to the original. This is for testing purposes to demonstrate how easily it can be replaced. Now, using the cutter, let's carefully strip away some of the insulation from the cable. First, gently separate the two wires. Now strip the insulation from the end of them. Note that we have one wire in red and another wire that is partially red and black. The red wire should consistently represent positive voltage, while the one with black should consistently serve as the ground wire. If you're unsure, check with a measuring device to see which wires correspond to each end of the plug. To avoid short-circuiting the cables, you can always leave one of the wires a bit longer. In our case, we leave the red one longer because the one coming from the adapter will be shorter. Now we will connect the wires of the plug to those of the adapter. Connect as mentioned before, ground to ground, in our case connecting the semi-black wire to the black wire. Now, utilize tape to insulate the black wire. For a more robust connection, consider soldering the wires if you wish. In our case, it's just for testing purposes only, so we won't be performing any intricate soldering. Now, we'll connect the red wire to the other red one, and then apply the remaining tape over the connection. Looks like we had the exact amount needed. Now that the old jack has been replaced, 
We are going to insert the new one into the laptop and see how it works. We are going to turn on the laptop and you will see that the LED will turn on for a millisecond indicating powering. You might be wondering why the LED didn't stay on, we will show you next when we enter Windows. That's because we removed the battery. Any laptop should be able to work when plugged in without the need for a battery. In our blinking LED video, we only showed you how to turn the laptop back on if it was frozen on a black screen. For many people, removing the battery, disconnecting the charging connector, and counting to 30 seconds while holding the power button worked. However, we've noticed in the comments that for a few, this method didn't resolve the issue. That's because in most of those cases, the charging port may have been damaged, and those laptops weren't receiving any power anymore. Now that we've inserted the battery, our LED indicator will stay orange, indicating charging, and will not blink. A steady LED light signifies that laptop is receiving power and is charging correctly. For those with laptops featuring non-removable batteries the alternative is removing the RAM, which entails disassembling the laptop. If this is challenging contacting a laptop service is the best solution. As previously noted, this method is effective for reviving laptops with blinking LEDs, but it only applies if the laptops can receive power or still have some battery remaining. We'd like to believe we've been able to help the majority of the 3 million viewers that watched our tutorial, and we express gratitude for all the likes, subscribes, and nice comments we've received. We're not the type to constantly ask for support, but it's important to share that Nick had a near-fatal bike accident two years ago. A fact we've only mentioned on Facebook. We've enabled the Super Thanks function, and we want you to know.